Welcome back to the Ground Control Station. And this is going to be a quick tidbit, a nice tip for you rookies out there and some of you veterans making rookie mistakes. Now, this is all about coaxial chokes, okay? Stop coiling up your damn coax right below the antenna, trying to cure common mode currents or trying to actually have a choke there, impedance choked, where everything is running out the antenna, nothing's coming back down into the system. All right, stop doing that. It's the least effective type of choke. All right, wrapping your coax around anything, whether it's six to seven times, uh, 12 inch uh, circle, eight inch circle, whatever, it's the least effective choke. Stay away from coaxial chokes, okay? Um, also, you don't want your coax, your jumpers, main feed line, crisscrossing and everything, especially if you don't have double shielded coax, all right? Uh, they also can interact with one another and cause really dumb issues. This right here is uh, RG400 mil spec. It's double shielded. It's 100 feet worth here, all right? So another thing is rarely do you see the information that I'm talking about in an antenna manual. Okay, but right there, be sure any excess coaxial cable is not coiled, causing excess SWR. All right, so number one, your coaxial choke can cause some funky scenarios within your antenna system. Okay, crisscrossing your jumpers and your main feed line, and it's all unorganized behind your system, and all this. If it's not double shielded, it can definitely cause really stupid issues, okay? And we're not going to get into that because it's very minor stuff. But if you want a true effective choke, all you have to do is get you some snap-on ferrites. Mix 43 is what I recommend for 27 megahertz, okay? <clears throat> now you see how my jumpers here, they're tied into the wall down there with clips okay i keep all my jumpers separate i mean they're running close but they're not crisscrossing and arcing one another all right now the whole radio station is set up like this all right so i have highways and routes of coax until it goes up into the ceiling okay so best bet on your jumpers one or two ferrites all right mix 43 and at your main feed line closest to the antenna you want about four or five, okay? No more than six mix 43 ferrites. And there, my friend, it'll help out with it. Impedance, choke, okay? Keep everything running out to the antenna and nothing coming back down your main feed line, all right? And it also can help with common mode currents, of course. So, just a small tidbit. Like I say, very rarely do you see any information in antenna manuals about cooling up coax all right but this one is a antron 99 um manual okay i've owned a lot of antennas and not many manuals state anything about excess coax so guys get rid of your goddamn coaxial choke all right it's not even <laughs> It's not even doing what you think it's supposed to be doing. Get you some mixed 43 ferrites. All right? Ground Control 2104, Black Ops Technology. And we're gone, 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 gone.